Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Use the harvest moon to find Jupiter and the ram. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, outreach astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. Let me be your guide to the moon, the planets, and beyond. This week is a perfect time to sit outside under the September moon. You'll be able to see it right after sunset, but I want to give you a preview of next week's sky, too. You have to stay up a little later to see the celestial highlights, but it'll be worth it, because near the moon you can find the largest planet and the first sign in the zodiac. Here, let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set to Monday, September 12th at 11.30 p.m. looking east. This year's harvest moon will be just a smidgen past full and really lighting up the night sky. See if you can spot the man and the moon outlined by the dark splotches, often called Maria, on the surface. I have to admit, whenever I try to imagine a face on the moon, all I see is a bunny rabbit leaping across the lunar highlands. There's his head, ears, and fluffy tail. Anyway, over the next week, you'll notice the moon waning and getting dimmer each night, and the moon will shift its position from night to night. Here it is, same time, same direction, but on the very next day, Tuesday, September 13th. And here it is, September 14th and September 15th. Now, the moon is easy to find, but what's that other bright thing below it? That's Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. You can't miss it, it's so bright. Jupiter is famous for its legendary size, but it's pretty far away, almost 400 million miles from Earth. Compare that to our nearby neighbor, the moon, who is only about 240,000 miles away. But even at that tremendous distance, Jupiter shines brighter than any other star in the night sky. That's because Jupiter is about 88,000 miles wide and reflects a lot of sunlight. It's so big you could stretch 40 moons across its diameter, or 11 Earths. Jupiter will get even brighter as the Earth gets closer to it in October. That's when Jupiter will be at opposition, meaning for us, Earthlings, it'll be on the opposite side of the sky from the Sun, and therefore closest to us. Opposition this year for Jupiter is October 28th, so be sure to mark your calendars to see it at its best. The closer Jupiter is, the better chance you have of spying his great red spot through a good telescope. Up to the moon's left is a second magnitude star called Hamal. This is the brightest star in the constellation Aries the Ram. But with the overwhelming glare of the moon's light, you'll probably get a better view of the ram after the moon moves away, like on September 16th and 17th. Aries is a tiny constellation, but was of humongous importance to the ancients. 2,500 years ago, the sun was visible in front of Aries' stars during the spring equinox, and so it was called the first sign in the zodiac. But that was an age or two ago. Have you ever heard the song about the age of Aquarius? Thanks to a slow wobble of the Earth, the spring equinox sun is heading through the constellation Pisces right now and is on its way to the age of Aquarius in about 600 years. You can use Aries to measure how dark your sky is where you live. If you can see Hamal, maybe you can see Aries' other two stars. Just to the right of Hamal is a dimmer star called Sheraton. Sheraton is only half as bright as Hamal, so if you can see it, you may be able to see up to three times as many stars in the entire sky. The dimmest of the three stars is called Mazarthum, which is only one-third as bright as Sheraton. If you can see Mazarthum, then whew, chances are you have a pretty good sky and can start spotting constellations like a pro. Boy, even with all three stars, it still doesn't look like a ram to me. So next week, stay out till midnight to watch the eastern sky. You'll see the moon shift from night to night until it's right above Jupiter on September 15th. Then try to see one, two, or three stars in Aries the Ram. The moon, a giant planet, and a zodiac constellation are all there when you keep looking up. Hey there, stargazers. Be sure to check out the all-new Stargazers next month. Same time, same channel. For more info, go to stargazersonline.org.